the members of parliament posed in the second round. The Constantine is still there, but I'll give you a break on it. Minister, you now have the floor. I thank you. Good morning, Chair. Good morning, honorable members of parliament. Good morning to my staff here, those in the tribune. And of course, good morning to the citizens and the general public of St. Martin. As we continue with answering the questions, I will, to you, Chair, the question from MP Marlin, who has really taken the decision not to allow any public meetings and gatherings and public events. The decision was taken unanimously by the Council of Ministers to prepare guidelines for the organization of public campaigns, particularly public meetings. Given the current violence <clears throat> or shooting situation and security situation that is happening in our country. Was the decision taken by the Council of Ministers or by the Prime Minister alone? As I mentioned, the decision was taken unanimously by the Council of Ministers. Three, were the relevant authorities consulted prior making that statement at the time of asking consultations were still forthcoming? Has a state of emergency been declared? If yes, where is the national decree? If not, why is the Army's assistance being requested? There is no state of emergency declared. However, the request was made by the CAPSM to increase its capacity, which I agreed to given the high crime situation, the elections, the hurricane season, and the capacity issues again on the police force of St. Martin. Why is the assistance of many police officers from Curacao, Aruba, Sabre, and Stacia being requested? With 20 polling stations that need to be guarded and protected, traffic measures, public order, and safety measures next to the normal police tasks, such as 911 calls and investigations, a lot of manpower is needed on election day. With the current capacity of the police force of St. Martin, will not be able to fulfill all these tasks, hence the request for assistance from the VKS, the Kingdom Police Forces, and the Marines, which is a common practice during elections. The SWAT assistance from Curacao was requested for guarded and protection tasks after the shooting incident in Kupokoi. For how long will this be effective and when? There is assistance from the Kingdom Partners on the island already for the joint investigation into the deadly shooting and for guarding and protection tasks. Reinforcements for the elections from surrounding islands are expected to arrive on August 17, 2024 and will remain until August 23, 2024. How much will all of this cost and where will this budget come from? It's to the tune of 80,000 guilders on election day from the General Affairs Alkhamenez Aachen election budget. 60,000 with regards to the SWAT assistance from Curacao, which will come from the budget of the police force of St. Martin. Details of the contract signed by the Minister of Justice, Lyndon Lewis, with a person heavily guarded that answer is, we were talking about a contract sign with regards to the picture. That is a very old picture, it's more than a year. It was all also circulating since around this time last year or even before, where that basically is a contract between me and someone that has nothing to do with my position today as Minister of Justice, and I will not disclose any further information pertaining to a contract that I have personally or had personally with someone. How many LBAs have been signed by the Minister of Justice since taking office? Thus far, if you're talking regarding two, LBAs regarding the legal positions, 25 LBAs have been signed by my person since taking office as Minister of Justice. Presently, we have a total of 100 LBAs drafted that are being processed by the Department of F. Bay Bay. These 100 will be sent to the governor for signature once they are signed, I will sign them off by then, 
And let me state that many discrepancies have been found that, are, that is delaying the process. But we prefer to give out the national decrees that are accurate to minimize the number of appeals and save everyone's time, as has been done in the past. If I'm not mistaken, um, BAT 7 was already sent out to the governor. Batch 8, 9, and 10 has already went through FBB. They send their notices of the discrepancies, such as mistakes in names, or if placements are not there, et cetera, in order for it to be adjusted. Those LBAs was also sent back to the respective departments who made the corrections, and hopefully between today, I think one or two batches will also be sent to the governor, which is to the tune of 50 employees, as each, each batch is about 25 LBAs. MP Gums, through your chair, why was there no curiosity about the budget or cost of having MPs possibly protected by the police officers or security personnel. A closed door meeting was held with the members of parliament. This has opened the discussions for policy, legislation, and budget. Explanation for the lack of action when threats were made against MPs last year. With regards to the threats, I await a response from the OM as the law is set up, the public prosecutor's office determines if an investigation will occur. The parliament can change this by amending the law. Through you, Chair, the questions and answers from MP Roseberg. Why are not all 25 ankle bracelets currently in use? And why is the house arrest not being utilized? The application of electronic monitoring and house arrests is governed by specific rules and assessed by the Judicial and Institutional Services Probation Department. The electronic monitoring is recommended for, for early release, pretrial detention, and conditional sentences. However, only two ex-inmates currently use ankle bracelets due to the strict eligibility criteria such as stable housing, mental stability, and limited capacity for, e for effective monitoring. Most inmates are serving long sentences and have not met the conditions for electronic monitoring review. Additionally, more resources need to be invested to support a larger EM program. House arrest decisions are made by judges based on probation department's advice and are not within the minister's authority. House arrest has rarely been used primarily for medical reasons and not only, and not as a replacement for prison sentences. Percentage of signed LBAs related to personnel who are actively working versus those that are not working. It was said that the LBAs issued are for people in that are actively working, but I have also noticed that LBAs were also issued to individuals that are not actively working as well. Explanations on how the crime fund has been spent and details on the questionable expenditures mentioned in the Audit Chamber's report. In 2018, the Audit Chamber cited inadequate financial control of the crime fund in 2016. This report does not represent the funds today. Clarification on support provided to families and communities affected by recent shootings. The services of VSS, this victim support service, have been lacking for many years on St. Martin. As a recent established foundation, they are actively exploring ways to work more closely with all stakeholders. There is a working agreement with KPSM and talks are ongoing with other stakeholders to more work in agreements. The victim support service can provide emotional support, navigate the various services, and help with the connection of those services. They are also able to accompany persons to court, help with filling out claims that the court awards, provide advice on specific legal matters, and guide them through the process. Additionally, 
They help negative and mental health system on the island. They conduct case management of the process of all clients and take note of their needs as well as gaps that they have experienced in the process. Explanation of the connection between public order, safety, and public meetings. This connection is influenced by the capacity of the police force of St. Martin and the recent increase in violence in general. Assurance that citizens' democratic rights are not being restricted and an explanation of the measures taken. The measures has not been finalized as the MR, the Ministerial Reikling, is still being regulated